Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another fishing video. Today I'm solo outside on the Red River in Manitoba and I got my little little hub shelter all set up over here. I already set up to save you guys time. You've seen me set up a few times already. You don't need to keep on seeing it every video. Let's take you inside and show you how we're set. So I've got my jaw jacker set up over here. Uh, trying to go for sauger, possibly some walleye today as well. Um, hopefully some eater sizes. They've got to be at least 14 inches here to keep on this particular stretch of water. So hopefully we get some that are about that eater size so we can take it home to family. I'm just using a jig over here. I'm going to just put on one of these minnows, frozen minnows, unsalted frozen minnows on this one, on the dead stick. And right over here, I will be using my rattle bait like that. I may or may not tip it with a minnow head. Not sure yet, we'll try both things. Um, fishing here about 19, 20 feet of water. It's 19 on this side and it was like 20 when I put it down on this side. But whatever, same thing. Anyways, let's get rigged up. I'm just waiting for my minnows here to defrost a little bit. And then I'm gonna get rigged up and get some lines in the water. Let's go, let's hope let's catch some fish today and we'll do another catch and cook for you guys. There's a steamed fish recipe. It's a Chinese recipe for steamed fish. Really good. I make it all the time. My wife just absolutely loves that dish whenever I make it. So that's what I want to show you guys. If we catch some either sauger or walleye today, I will cook that recipe for you guys. So if we do start catching some, stay tuned until the end of this video for the catch and cook. Let's go. Uh, Midwinter walleyes. Typically, I catch them anywhere between 12 to 18 feet of water. We're in about 20 to 19 feet. That should still be okay. Um, I have, to be honest, I haven't really ice fished the river way too much. I usually used to go on the lakes, um, our big lake here, Lake Winnipeg. But I don't know. I haven't been to Lake Winnipeg yet this year. I don't know if I will um, this year for various reasons. But uh, anyway, so that's why we're trying different spots, different lakes and places that I either have never fished in before or places that I haven't fished way too much in before. That's my goal for this season rather than just keep on going back to the same old big lake, right? I just want to try different things. A subscriber actually dropped me a pin on this exact spot. So thank you so much the support for watching my channel. You know who you are. I know you wanted to stay private. You don't like uh, a lot of public attention. So I'm not going to mention your name, your username or whatever. Um, you know who you are. Thank you so much for this spot. And uh, yeah, happy to be out here today. And um, just be fishing, man. Oh, yeah, I think we're good for the minnows, guys. Let's get the jaw jacker set up. There we go. Jaw jacker is all set. Let's hope we get some results from the jaw jacker today. I haven't seen anything from the jaw jacker yet so far this season. Hell, I haven't seen much this season, but that's okay. That is all right. That's part of fishing. Guys, we're on a fish. We got fish on. Yes. Yes, that was quick. What do we have? Oh, strange. Look at this. Look what I got. We got stuck on the ice there. Oh, there we go. We got it out. Check this out, guys. What? Look at that. This is the first ever time I have caught a gold eye ice fishing. That is insane. Wow. Yes. Literally five minutes in on this spot and we get on a fish. And it's a fish that I've never caught before, ice fishing. Wow. That is beautiful. He's probably about, let's see. That's a 12 inch gold eye. Guys, I'm gonna let this gold eye go. Don't really No or wanna cook a gold eye anyways. So we're gonna let him swim out. There you go. First time getting a gold eye under the ice. Achievement unlocked and I was just using this Wasn't even tipped with a minnow or anything. It was just plain just a rattle or rattle bait Let's 
get it back in the water. Yes! That was amazing, guys. I'm so excited. That's my first ever gold eye under the ice. I've never caught gold eye under the ice before. Wow. That was that was great. I'm literally like five, not even ten minutes in from when I first set my lines in the water in this spot and I already caught a fish and it's a gold eye. I let him go. He was about 12 inches. Forgot my measuring tape uh, at home. So I can't get an exact measurement, but estimate about 12 inches gold eye. I don't remember what the measurements are uh, for a master for for gold eye, but yeah, I'll check later when I get back. Um, I let him go. I let him back in the water. Don't really want to keep them. Uh, don't really eat gold eye. Don't have a. I know they're pretty good smoked. Have you guys? How do you guys eat your gold eye? How do you guys cook your gold eye? I don't have much recipes for gold eye. I don't, I, I don't think I've ever even tried eating a gold eye. I know that they're good smoked. Somebody's given me smoked gold eye before. It was pretty good. Um, I don't have a smoker. Don't know how to, how to smoke a fish. So eh, we'll just let them back in the water. We got to get on some sauger or some walleye. Something that we can bring home and cook. So leave me some comments down below and give me some, some recipes, some favorite ways you guys, uh, like to cook and eat gold eye so that the next time I get a gold eye I'm gonna try to cook it up myself. Hey we got another fish mark down there. Kinda went up at the bait taking a look at it but it hasn't committed yet. Oh fish on fish on yes oh yes yes a sauger Oh, it looks like it's gonna be eater size too. I gotta pull out the uh, my phone measuring up. Damn it, I hate when I leave my measuring tape at home. Okay. 38 centimeters. So 35 is keeper size. So he's good to go. Yes. Now I can show you guys. Now I can show you guys a steam fish recipe for this. This is actually a really good size for that Chinese steam fish recipe. Really, really good size. Anyway, let's get get the line back in the water here and see if we can't get on some more. So glad that we're catching some fish today. Pretty quick because I've only got a half day out today, guys. Like I've only got the morning to fish. I gotta get back in the afternoon. And what time is it? It's only nine o'clock, so. I've been here for about an hour now and uh, we've got a gold eye and a keeper sauger already so probably I'll take off I don't know the bites gonna slow down around noon anyways I think what in the world <laughs> what guys I just caught a mussel is this a mussel I don't know, some sort of, some sort of shell. I just caught that <laughs> on my lure. How the, how in the world do you catch a shell? All right, let's keep fishing. Oh, jaw jacker went up. Oh yeah, we got a fish on the jaw jacker, guys. Yes, yes. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I got off. Chewed it up pretty good. Oh man, he got off. Chewed up the minnow pretty good. Damn. Get the jaw jacker back in the water there. We got a bite on the dead stick, so no reason why they wouldn't bite again, right? Oh man, that was close. That was close. Ooh, that was close, guys. I don't know why, but that jaw jacker always gets me so excited. I just love hearing that pop. And then the rod going like this. Oh man, really hope I catch something on the jaw jacker today for you guys, man. Okay guys, I got some good news and bad news. The good news is we got a fish on the jaw jacker. Oh yeah, another sauger, look at that. Ooh, gotta measure him up. He looks like eater size, looks like a keeper size. But uh, finally, Got a fish on the jaw jacker. The bad news is I was charging my GoPro when the jaw jacker popped up and then I was like, no, I had to reel him up real quick before I even got the GoPro because I didn't want to lose him. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
jig and minnow on the jaw jacker. Finally, the jaw jacker popped and finally got me a fish for this ice fishing season. Yes, I am so happy. Oh man, I don't know why I get so excited every time, but this jaw jacker, that popping sound, and then seeing the rod bend, oh man, it just gets me every time. Do you guys use a jaw jacker? I love this thing, man. But let's measure this guy up real quick. He does look like a keeper size though, so yeah. I'm gonna put him beside the other one and just measure him real quickly. So the other one was 38.75 centimeters, uh, just under 39. This one and this guy is 35 and a half. We're gonna steam two fish for dinner tonight, guys. Can't wait to show you my recipe. Buddy heater starting to flicker. It's 15 minutes till 12. Oh, there it goes. It's about to turn off. I'm gonna take that as a sign, start packing up, and head around out of here. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be starting off with over here, come over real quick. So of course we've got the fish, two saugers that we caught earlier today. All I did to it guys was I just scaled the fish and this is what I use to scale them. You just go like that, scales rub off, super clean, super easy. I think I got this at Superstore if you guys wanna look for it too. Scaled and gutted, that's about it. And then I uh, just left it in the fridge for an hour or two, you don't have to, but I just put some salt on them and then I left them in the fridge to rest for a couple hours uh, while I was waiting for dinner time, okay? And so this one over here, this is all we need for the fish itself. So just some lemons that I'm gonna put on top. I'll show you guys how it all comes together, but ingredients wise, some lemon slices, sliced lemons, some ginger, some cilantro, and chopped green onions as well. Um, for the sauce, we're gonna be using I have this seafood uh, seasoned soy sauce for seafood, but what you can do if you guys can't find this seasoned soy sauce is you guys can actually just use regular light soy sauce and then you wanna mix in a little bit of sugar and then boil it a little bit and that's all. That'll be fine and some drops of lemon juice in there as well and that's what makes this kind of seasoned soy sauce. For I know we got a bunch of other different ingredients here as well but I am going to be making two other supporting dishes to go with the fish. It's a Chinese style meal. So Chinese style meals are always multiple dishes. So we're gonna be making three different dishes today. I'll make some potatoes, some vegetables here. But uh, yeah, we won't spend too much time on the other dishes. We'll concentrate mainly on the uh, steamed fish dish. But I'm gonna get Real cooking. Quick, just a quick vegetable dish. Just chopped up some lettuce here. Pan frying some garlic. Pan fry the garlic a bit. Toss the lettuce. Some salt. A little dash of some Chinese cooking wine. And we're ready to plate. Literally takes five minutes to cook and tastes great. Fantastic side dish. Apparently I cut the potatoes too thick. So she's, gotta, so she's gotta cut them thinner. She's a Chinese one so I'm gonna take her word for it. All right, we're gonna make the uh, sliced potato dish here real quick. Couple spoons of just regular cooking oil. And we'll add some spices. We got garlic right here, chopped garlic. We got dried red chilies. We've got red peppercorns and black, black pepper. Full black pepper, not crushed black pepper. Oil is hot, throw in some garlic. You can actually just toss everything in all together. There we go, now we can toss in some potatoes. All right, we'll season it up a bit with some salt here. You want it a little 
little bit more spicy, honey? Yeah. It wants it a little bit more spicy, so we're gonna add a little bit more red pepper flakes. That's good or more? Yeah, that's good. That's good? I know it looks spicy with all the chili peppers and stuff in there, but it's actually, it doesn't get that spicy, even with the chili peppers in there. Mm. That's good. So first and foremost, I'm gonna get this pot boiling over here, fill this pot up with water, and I've got this thing, so that when we're steaming it, we're gonna be putting the plate on top of, on top of this little stand thing. Now what I always like to do is I always like to put salt in the water every time I'm boiling water even if I'm just making hard-boiled eggs I'll put salt in the water while it's boiling because what that does is it helps the water to boil faster and it boils at a hotter temperature as well with the salts so we'll get this boiling real quick and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do to prep the fish over here okay so as you can see I've got some ginger cilantro and green onions and lemon all sliced up over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stuff the fish with ginger just inside so I've gutted them right and we want the flavor and the aroma of the ginger to just infuse into the meat of the fish. We'll also throw some green onions inside there. Don't use all your green onions I like to keep some green onions later on to put on top of the fish when it's almost done cooking. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that later when we're almost done. Same thing with the cilantro. We'll stuff a little bit of cilantro on there, but we want to keep the majority of the cilantro for the end for when we're garnishing the fish. The flavors and the aromas of these herbs will infuse into the fish. Before we put it in the steamer here, we'll put a couple of lemon slices. What it's gonna do is again, infuse the lemon aroma and flavor into the meat of the fish. Here you can see we've got some green onions and cilantro as leftover for garnishing on top of the fish just before it's 100% done. Like when it's at like 98%, we'll put that on top. There we go. So we just cut the tail off a little bit here, just so the whole thing can fit in the pan. Boom. Now, just a waiting game until that's all cooked up. All right, guys, it's about 50% done now. Um, usually it takes, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so of steaming. So it's just almost about 50% done right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that soy sauce then around as well because that's going to be your sauce. We're not going to add in the garnish until about 95-98% finished um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to start so I'm going to heat up a little bit of olive oil in another pan and I'll show you guys why after because afterwards once the fish is all done I coat the entire thing with hot olive oil. Yeah, it's about like 99% done, so the water start, started trying to boil over now, so I guess that's a sign. Now we add the garnish. Boom. There we go. Now, for the olive oil finishing touch, all we're going to do is... such a nice sizzle and that's it we're good to go
wanted to get the wife and the kid on video here too for the tasting but uh, she doesn't want to be on video she's right there behind the camera she doesn't want to be on video so here I am now we're gonna give it a taste test and let's see if it worked or not of course I know it works I've cooked this tons of times all right so we'll grab a piece of the fish right there dip it in the sauce of course we got to eat it with a bowl of rice, right? It's only proper. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yeah. So good. Got to get some rice in there too. Yep. Just perfect. Man. Oh, I love steamed fish, man. Steamed fish is so good. Get some veggies. Vegetables are good. Mm. Oh yeah. That is so good. Steaming fish or steaming any food actually it's such a great way to just preserve and enhance all of the natural aromas and flavor of that food in Chinese cooking they call it as capturing the essence of the ingredient so steaming fish just captures all of the essence of the fish and then you put the aromatics and stuff in there and it just matches and it just enhances it it's got to be the right stuff so you enhance it instead of making it worse but yeah steaming food especially steamed fish is so good because you get all the essence all the natural flavors all the natural aromas it gets kind of absorbed in that ingredient so if you guys haven't tried steamed fish before you have to give this recipe a try trust me you're gonna love it anyways that's it for today's video Thank you guys so so much for watching and I appreciate all the continued support. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers now. I think I'm right at this point I'm at about 813 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my content. I really really appreciate it and uh, hopefully we get to a thousand soon and I might do some sort of giveaway when we get to a thousand. So let's get there guys. Please like this video if you enjoyed it um, leave some comments down below what comments do is it increases the engagement rate on the video and it helps me because YouTube promotes my videos more in their algorithm right so it helps with the algorithm for YouTube so leave some comments down below like the video please share it with your friends and family if you enjoyed it and trust me guys try this recipe you guys are gonna love it